Okay, guys, we're going to dig, 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 dig deep into this last, I'm going to call it the last bin. Um, I wanted to go through all these bins with you. I find that they're, they don't perform as well as other videos, of course, but I wanted to get this one last one done. And I say it's the last one because the very last one was basically two big items that are going to be done by themselves. And uh a few other things in there and i will show them absolutely but uh, they're going to be their own videos there's just not enough content in there for uh each item has enough content but there's not enough content for a open box and i kind of want to save it that way So let's get this one opened. Okay. Right off the hop, we're greeted with a very yellow, a very yellow Vic 20. Now, that doesn't sound good either. And we'll be doing videos down the road, testing a lot of this stuff, finding out if this is fixable, if it's not working, or if it is working, get rid of whatever that is before I even fire it up. That sounds very metalish. Uh, this is probably the original, original of the units. And I say that because it is very yellow. And these chocolate uh, caramel keys, uh, just interesting. But anyway, a VIC-20 nonetheless. Pretty cool little machine. Then we have a Mega Race. In this future, speed that kills. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah, oh. but it isn't enough. Oh. <laughs> oh. So this is pretty cool. I mean, uh, yes, yeah, kind of like Carmageddon, I guess, in a weird way, but you're racing, not just slamming people to the ground with your bumper. But it's pretty cool. That's I like this box. This box is very interesting. Okay, we have what I'm going to call a knockoff wave bird. Looks like a uh, GameCube controller. Um, that being said, it kind of reminds me of uh, Mad Cats, but I don't know how it connects because I don't know if there's anything in here to connect with because there's a connect button right here. But anyway, it's kind of cool, but uh, it's, it's again, and no damage to the contacts, but again, it's a uh, aftermarket controller I know nothing about until... Maybe I look it up and do some homework on it. If you guys have seen it before, please comment below and let me know. Help my search narrow right out. I'm going to get rid of all this Nintendo wiring stuff because uh, there's some really, really, really bad yellowed... Look at that. Talk about two-tone. I hope the camera picks that up. There's the color it's supposed to be. There's the color it is now. So let's just... Uh, looks like there's four of these controllers. Four controllers and a light gun. And all these controllers seem to be plagued with the same problem. This one even has yellow on the bottom. Now I noticed this guy when I was pulling out the wires. This is a Gravis. I'm not sure if it tells me which one it is on the bottom here. Made in Canada. And these controllers, I think I, they might even still be around. I'm not sure. I'll look that up. But... These controllers were amazing. And this one hooks up to... Oh, see, now I was thinking it was going to be the old uh, 15 pin for the sound card or game port on a PC. But this is actually for Commodore, Atari, and so on. Which means this is going to be my go-to controller probably for any time I'm playing on the uh, Commodore, uh, Amiga, whatever. This is, this is really cool. Very happy to have that. Now, what was unique about them, of course, is all these adjustments for, like, where you want this to sit and centering. They had everything on it for its time. It was actually, these were way ahead of the game. <laughs> Get it? Game? No? All right. Dad joke. Okay, let's go through these. Uh, anticipation. Wow. Cartridge is, like, amazing condition. Mario and the Duck Hunt multi-cartridge. Again, a pretty amazing condition. Wow. Duck Hunt by itself. 
and wow like these games look mint this comes off so it's not actually a problem I don't know if I'm gonna try and take it off right now but I've already started but anyway other than that and a bit of rubbing I gotta clean off this the game is mint I mean look at it <laughs> like that's awesome then we have Puss in Boots by EBC Electro, Electro Brain Corp. Never heard of them. Again, though, in, in great condition. Definitely don't have this one. All Pro Basketball. Yeah, all comes off. It's in mint condition. Like, these are in great condition. Nothing like the controllers were. Then we have uh, Dream Mister. I can't read that little tiny thing anyway. I know this is a Capcom game and it's a pretty common game. You guys probably know it right off by looking at the uh, cover. And then Ice Hockey. Not Blades of Steel, but Ice Hockey. And I can't remember if I have that one. So everything is mint. All the cartridges were like new. Okay, we have some manuals here. We have the Zapper. Control deck, so I'll take a look and see if I am missing any of that in any of my stuff. And a dot matrix printer from a Commodore, the MPS 801. Now, I don't have a Commodore uh, printer, but kind of cool. Looks like there's something Commodore there. And what is this? Oh, cool. So, <laughs> this is Electronic Arts, which is now... Uh, EA, I guess is how you want to put it. This is really cool because these are games that look like uh, little booklets. And it is complete. Everything is here. And this is just so cool because it, it was really neat to see these. And then uh, basically, I think this is for Windows. It usually tells you... They were like LPs, like mini LPs. And I have one framed. I have uh, Arkanoid framed. And Arkanoid is like a comic. When you open up, there's a comic in, in the internal sleeves. So it's it's really, really, really neat. And look at this. You see, like, it, it gave you a little bit of a, a storyline and stuff. And this was really cool. This was, like, the big next thing, you know, when it came to uh, Big Box. But these were a little rarer to find. So... That's, that's absolutely really, really cool. I'm so happy to have that in my collection for sure. Okay, this is Games Pack. Defense Command Stellar Escort TRS-80 Radio Shack. I'm just happy to have this because it's in an actual original Radio Shack case. Yes, it's dinged up a little, but how cool is that? Right, TRS-80 right there on the nice chrome sticker. The original price tag of about $35 Canadian, I guess. So that's that's really cool. Where'd it come from? Radio Shack. Duh. <laughs> Where'd it come from? Radio Shack. Anyway, this is really, 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 really cool. Look at the old TRS-80 graphics. This looks like it predates the color one. That's pretty cool. Here's something cool. EPYX. Famous company. Jumpman. Computer games, thinkers play. 583D disc for Apple. So this is an Apple one. I don't even own an Apple at this point, and it looks like the disc may not be here. Wow, that's old and feels old, but it's really cool to have the box art. Um, kind of sad that the disc isn't in there, but uh, that's that's pretty neat. Too bad it wasn't uh, a Windows version of it. And maybe even if I get a Windows version, I'll, I'll probably put it in there. Because that's that's really cool. Okay, so now we're going to go to a Magic... Magic... Magic Carpet Ride! Magic Carpet Ride! So this is Bullfrog Presents. And then you got the old Pentium sticker here. Includes enhancements for Pentium processor. That was when they started taking stabs at the AMD when they were supposed to be friends. So it's in here. Oh, 3D glasses. Okay. 
I'll have to change that case. But there's 3D glasses in here, guys. Magic carpet. Look at that. That is cool. So this is just a piece of really cool history. Oh, and the graphics are pretty cool too. So I guess the background is what is going to pop. And uh, your foreground, I guess, makes it all 3D. So that, that's going to be fun. Just to try it. I might get sick and dizzy right away. Incredible Machine 2. Now I remember these. I, it wasn't a thing for me, but MS-DOS CD. Uh, but they are cool because they're, they're like brain twister type games, right? Which we play a lot on our cell phone now. I mean, that's sad. That could come out brand new right now on a cell phone. We'll all be happy. Now I was leaving this one to last because it's Star Wars Rebel Assault in the box. I don't know if it's complete. Yep. So there's the disc. The Adventure. Rebel Assault. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. This is so cool. I think I have Rebel Assault 2 in the box. I can't remember if I have Rebel Assault in the box. But this one's mint. I mean, it is like mint and they were one of my favorite games okay so we got this huge box i don't know what that is and then we have some multimedia fx and then we have this commodore as that's windows or ubuntu or linux or something so this is windows 7 compatible oh my god this is the original commodore remakes like today you can buy the shell from uh, my 64 but this is the original manufactured by commodore usa when they decided to try and get back into that market again and i can't remember what happened but i thought i read something about the actual owner getting into an accident or something and crashing i'm not 100 percent what happened here but anyway this is a Commodore 64. That is not a Commodore 64. So, I think we're gonna save this for a video because it does, and it is populated with a motherboard. So this thing is ready to rock as a computer and I would love to see that. And in order to see that, I want to make a video based on that. This this is really cool. Look how authentic that looks. Commodore 64. That is so cool. It's not an unboxing, guys, so <laughs> we're going to have to close our eyes on that one. Pretend it never happened. But that is cool. This bin just became, like, the best bin ever already. Okay, guys, it's time for this big box of something. So, oh my god, that's heavy, and I'm not kidding. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to just take the bin out of the picture. Okay. I am not kidding. That is it really heavy. Uh, ha. Boy, would I love to have, well, I kind of have one like that. You guys will see that soon. Uh, that's really cool. The box is, is, is so cool. <sighs> Reveal. It's a company that used to do stuff like this. I think this had a lot to do with... I think Reveal was Creative Labs. So this was like an, an off-brand of them, I believe, to... Uh, I don't know, have a, a different market. And probably, you know, help corner the market a little better. So, I mean... It is actually pretty cool. But it's also really heavy. Let's find out what's in here. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to turn this around. Things aren't what they seem to appear to be. For example, there is a ColecoVision right here with two controllers. So that means I believe in this lot we got two ColecoVisions, which is actually really cool. 
And I think I'm seeing something I didn't think I'd see. I guess it's kind of hard to not know what that is. But here's the Coleco power adapter. Okay, so we got the power adapter this time. That's really good. The data cassette boxed. I don't think mine is boxed. Or, uh, yeah, I don't think it is. So that's going to stay in my collection for sure for the Commodore computer. And is that another? What's the hookup? What's the hookup? Yes! We have another Gravis in way better condition. Feels better too. Commodore computer power adapter. That, I believe, is for the Commodore 64? Apparently we have a uh, skiing from Intellivision cartridge in here. <laughs> That's random. Actually, everything's kind of random. This is an actual Revell paperwork from the original box. Kind of cool. I think I'm going to have to keep the box just because. Alright, this is kind of uh, easy to see here. So what we're going to do, we'll take a look at what these are. Okay, Atari VCS. This is the game stick. Okay, so this is the wireless classic joystick. Yeah, he sent me the newest Atari uh, that came out that we didn't think was ever going to come out. So I get to play with that, which is going to be really, really awesome. And here is their gamepad. So he bought the gamepad and uh, the stick, because I'm not even sure if one comes in that. Oh, and of course, the VCS. Now, I'm not going to open it because as this is going to be a completely different video. Uh, it has been opened. He has played with it, so it's not. I'm not doing an unboxing of brand new, but I want to do a video just on the VCS and its peripherals and what I can and can't do with this. So <laughs> this is kind of exciting, guys. I'm pretty pretty happy about that, especially knowing that it's an AMD Ryzen under the hood. So this is going to be pretty cool. I'm pretty pretty excited about this, and uh, yeah, I have an Atari VCS. And I don't mean the original VCS. I have an Atari VCS. As much as it sucks that this box isn't what it appears to be. Because that would have been flipping cool. You got a CD-ROM, sound card, microphone, software, speakers, headset. I mean... It was definitely a thing that it was uh, a thing in the past where you just walked in, picked up this, went back home, installed your CD, installed your sound card, you had your speakers, and everything you needed then to go from, uh, you know, like the old whatever 8-bit sound or whatever to stereo, like everything you ever wanted. So that was that's a really cool box. I'm not going to get rid of this box. I'll put it away for storage. Who knows? Maybe down the road I'll find something for it. Oh, and it's... Is it just a sound card? What is it? Sound Effects Studio 16. Yeah. Yeah. Double speed CD-ROM. Nice. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Game over. <laughs>